Hi again, it's Day from DayWilliams.com and Day Williams Healthy Beauty Facebook page. And I want to talk right now with you about self-love. And um, okay, what I can say about that you know, from my own experience is that uh, many, many years ago, probably about 30 years ago, when I was in my mid-20s, I decided to um, really learn about myself and how to love myself. And as I was uh, in that process, past the initial uh, kind of rough edges of you know navigating that way of even being with myself I realized that it was a full-time job in life to really understand yourself enough and um, just be accepting and loving and you know refining where needed and um, so I decided at that point that if I was going to be an expert on anything in life that I wanted to be an expert on loving myself knowing from one moment to the next what was the truth of my experience and what it was that I you know, needed or wanted um, to be able to cultivate a, a higher, um, more satisfying experience. Just like how to take really good care of myself and how to make really good choices for myself. So that's been um, a, just a lifelong, well, not lifelong, I guess, 25 on, 30 years. It's been pretty significant portion of my life in this body and um, and I have a, it, there's fewer decisions that when I reflect on them that I've made in my life that has been smarter than that one because um, I just recognize the more that you know yourself and the more you love and accept yourself the more everybody else does you know it just creates this nonverbal communication to the entire universe and then, you know everything that's living in it about you know what it is that you are and about and what you're um, uh, a match to in life you know what makes sense for the universe to be delivering to you to you where are all our own you know specific beacons and signals out there to the universe about who we are and what we're about and the universe just keeps delivering to us matches so whenever I look at my life and it's not pleasing me it's always because of one thing I realize that I'm just not taking as good of care of myself as um, need as what's needed to be able to have the kind of um, circumstances and events and people and magic and everything showing up for me so I love that idea I love that when it, things get to discombobulated the remedy for me is always to just become more self-aware and to set an intention every night and every morning with specific details as to how I'm gonna go about that but to love myself more than I did the day before and um, yeah I'm committed. I don't, <laughs> I don't think there's any more important relationship in the whole world that you're going to have than the one with yourself. And I know you might have heard that before and everything, but that is just the truth. And I watch people who, as they start loving themselves and taking good care of themselves, everything in their life starts going in a direction that's more pleasing for them. So there's nothing more worthwhile, not to mention the fact that that's what you're offering as a teaching and an inspiration and influence to the people around you. And that you know we're all ingredients in this big giant soup of the universe and you know however you're feeling and um, what's going on in your internal world is what you're offering to the mix of all that is and so I, I'm just always in great appreciation of anybody who I see loving and taking care of themselves because I recognize the benefit that we all get out of that not just the pleasure of witnessing them, but literally they're shifting the balance of everything that is at any given point. So not only am I rooting for myself, believe me sincerely, I am rooting for you to love yourself really brilliantly. And if I can help you with that in any way, please let me know. All right, share any of my videos if you're inspired and just know I'm always sending you lots of love. Bye.